Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about some of these actions that I do that boost my airdrop allowance and chances of getting the airdrops. I guess a lot of people do this, but I haven't seen it in any video, so I thought I'll share my personal task. Just before I get started guys, nothing is uh, financial advice in my videos. So just to be clear, these are little, little tasks I do on various projects that will increase my engagement and they take very little time. You don't have to like sit down with a computer and do them. They literally take like five minutes altogether and I'm talking about many projects. Okay, you'll know a bit more what I mean when I get into the task. Okay, so the first project is a layer three. So they're a platform that um, helps you and teaches you um, how to use new platforms and projects and blockchains. And so one of the tasks you need to do with this project is just sign in. Literally, there's a button here. I've already done it for today. And um, you just have to click it just to sign in and um, you get um, like a street. And then also the other really good thing is I really like this platform. I mean, even though I know how to do most of these tasks already, it, it improves your on-chain or on-chain activity. So I haven't, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the whole point of uh, doing tasks like this is to make it look like you're a legit user because projects are more and more trying to get rid of farmers and bots. And so if you have one wallet that does a lot of activities on different blockchain and does it in an irregular fashion, then that would look more like a legitimate user rather than someone doing one specific task every day, uh, trying to farm, etc. So, so yeah, so as you can see, even just now, while I was on a uh, platform preparing this video, I saw a few easy ones and I just done it. So you go into whichever one you like, different blockchains, etc. So for example, ZK Sync, Unleashing ZK Sync, I can go here and just click on begin, learn about it, repost a tweet, and then transaction ZK Sync, and then they'll give me points. Sometimes they even give you NFTs as well. Like I just done one on Polygon and they gave me an NFT. So, so yeah, I just like it, it, it gave me five. I think I would say this is one of the best platform for beginners to learn about different projects. Um, it's gamified, it's very easy to use, it works well as well. There's a few other ones that don't really work. You've done the task, but it doesn't really register on the website. Okay, so layer free, I'll obviously put all the links in the description per usual. Next up, you have a similar platform called Interact or in Interact. And um, this is similar. So what you have to do is basically go in and then just all you have to do is if you have an unclaimed achievement, okay, I'll check that later. But you just sign in, there's a sign, obviously I've done it already. So um, you just hit the sign in button and that's it. And then here also you have um, different projects. They want you to use their platform or adapt, etc. And you can just do that. And it literally takes a few minutes. But like I said, the signing just takes a second. So that's that. Next you have Zeely. So Zeely, um, I've been using the platform for a while for different tasks, etc. But I don't know if there's something to do on a daily basis. And uh, if you guys know anything, let me know. Next up, we have Magic Eden. So Magic Eden is the open sea, the open sea of Solana. It's the biggest NFT platform on Solana's um, platform. And I've done a, on Solana blockchain, I've done a video about Magic Eden, the whole airdrop task, etc. But there's a daily thing that you need to do, which is claim the diamonds. They have these diamonds, which is very similar to what Blur had. Blur had points and they gave airdrop according to that. So yeah, it's literally free as well. So you just come here, claim your uh, diamonds, and I reckon they will give you, you can do other tasks that gives you diamonds, but this is free. You can do it every day, it takes a second. And what I've done, when I give you all these links, what you can do in on Chrome, you can add it in one folder, all the links. And then if you right click it, um, click open, it'll open all the tabs in one shot. So you don't need to click one by one. Okay, so that's Magic Eden. There's other ways of getting diamonds, but this is the free way where you can do it every day and get it, like I said, it takes a second, so you don't need to worry about it. As you can see, I done a few hours ago, so it's in 20, 20 hours left till I can get the next one. So next up, we have uh, Galaxy. So Galaxy, is I don't think there is something to do on a daily basis, but what I do do is I see if there's any projects that I like or that I'm following, etc., that have new tasks, and I just do them. Some of them are very easy. Some of them already have funds. So if you have like $5, 10 on different different chains, usually they're enough, especially on Layer 2, etc., to do this. So like, you know, if I see any I like, then I would just do it. Next up is uh, mainly you have um, Fawcett. So on my Notion and um, on my Notion, what I have, I just have the wallet addresses. So um, here you can see um, Ethereum, uh, Goalie, Fawcett. So instead of going up on my MetaMask and then copying the address, what I do, I just have it copied already on my uh, Notion. You can put it in any any note app. And what you just do, copy paste it in here, hit send me ETH, and then it will send it to you. You can only do this uh, once a day, okay? And this goalie ETH is free um, testnet Ethereum. And the reason why you should do this is because um, for certain blockchains, like you might have seen in my previous videos, um, when, when they're new, they want you to bridge from either Ethereum Goli or Ethereum Sapulia, which is two of the main uh, popular testnets. 
And so if you do this daily, then you won't need to do it when you have to have when you have to actually, you know, doing the airdrop, whatever. So um, this, uh, you already have enough piece, so you don't have to claim it then. You would already have it in your wallet. So whenever I'm doing tasks, I never have to worry about claiming it because I already have all these um, tests Ethereum in my wallet. So you have this one, and then you have um, Sapolia. So this is by Infura. All you have to do is make an account, it's free. Put your address in here, hit receive. And uh, all of these guys is one, uh, once a day, okay? Don't, you can't spam it. Then once you've done that, go into the linear one. So the linear one, yeah, as you can see, is full capacity. So I noticed it's been doing that for the last one, two days. But that's fine. There's other websites that give it to you as long as you get the idea. Next, you have uh, Polygon Mumbai Fawcett, which is the Polygon testnet. Um, same thing. You put your address in here. It might say you can have extra if you want to tweet. If you tweet, they might give you more. But I just found that if you're going to tweet every time you need to do something like this, your whole Twitter feed is going to be like, you know, it's, it's just going to be a thing like this. So why do I just, they give you less amount if you don't tweet. So I just get the amount that I don't tweet and I just claim that. Next up, you have um, Ethereum Holesky. This is a new, um, not new, but um, it's another testnet on Ethereum. Same thing with this. You just put your wallet address in. It'll say if you want to tweet, you'll get more. If you don't, you'll get less and hit continue and then they'll send it to your wallet. Next up, you have uh, Zeta Chain. So there's Zeta Chain. I've already logged in, connected my wallet. It's saying it's currently disabled, but I think they'll re-enable it or just follow them on the social media and that should be fine. Next up, you have uh, Leo, uh, Alio. So Alio has their force in Discord. So what I've done is just bookmark their Discord. And remember on my Notion, I got all these addresses. So I do the, the Leo one. I just copy it and then I just paste it in here rather than going to the wallet and faffing around with that. So what I do is basically copy that and paste it in here. As you can see, everyone's claiming there. So you just have to copy this and put your wallet address in and then paste it. And then you should see your tokens in your wallet. So rather than going into the wallet, in and out, in and out, different wallets, etc. I just uh, got all the addresses so it makes it much faster. Next up, you have fuel. Same thing. Just put your address in here. Hey, I'm not a robot. You have to do a capture and then hit uh, give me ether. Then you have OKB. So I've done a test. This is OKX's layer two with uh, Polygon's partnership. And I've done a video on this uh, already. And this also, um, you need to collect uh, faucet money, uh, faucet tokens. So what you can do is just put your address in here and hit get the 0 0.2 OKB and they'll give it to you. Literally, it's, it's very straightforward, very easy, very quick. These platforms, these three platforms, I haven't actually used. I, I've added it for some reason, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure why I added it really. So anyway, so there's this one. Then there's this one, Coinvise. And then there's this one, NFT prompt. I don't know why I added it. But um, I actually don't do anything currently. If you guys know what to do, whatever, let me know. But for now, I haven't really added anything. Next, you got CoinStats. So CoinStats is very uh, my, one of my favorites. It's actually the one I use to track my portfolio, etc. I've got the paid version. And uh, if you just go on the website or open the app, they give you the, the diamonds or they call it, I don't know what they call it, but they give you their points just by opening the app. You don't have to actually do anything. And then you got CoinGecko, same thing. They have, um, I forgot what they call it, can, uh, candies. So every day you log in, you just click that button. You can do it on the app as well. But I will say to do it on the laptop because you can do all of these others and you can keep on the folder. And yeah, so same day I just collect these. And then these candies, you can use it to buy their book, their ebook, or you can redeem it for different things. So even my coin stats, the premium version, I got it by collecting their points. I didn't actually pay for it. And there's actually a trick. If you go on their decks and connect your wallet, you don't have to actually put the seed in. You can connect your MetaMask and then do swaps. It gives you a lot of points. So within like a week or two, you can do it. But I already had a lot of points when I discovered this. And so I got it quickly. But to be fair, it's even worth paying for it. Coinsats is very good. Um, it's one of the best ones out there. It's very accurate. It's uh, supposed to love blockchain. It's just very good. People people not know, no. Then you have uh, CoinMarketCap, same thing. They have something called Diamonds. You just go in and then click um, sign in, click that, and then they'll give you points. Same thing with this. You can convert the Diamonds into other stuff. And I just it just takes a second. So, you know, it's, it's not too, too much to ask for. Then you have D Bank. So D Bank, I just I just minted my ID. It cost like ninety six dollars. I had to deposit uh, money from a uh, blockchain to their L two, and then I minted my my ID. It cost ninety six dollars. So in my D Bank video, I did tell you guys that I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it. I uh, made some fun doing some flipping, some DJing. So I thought, yeah, why not do it? Because I think because um, this requires you to mint the ID. And if you're active, um, you might actually get the airdrop and hence why I think it's worth it because um, their feed is actually quite good. The quality of people quite good. And because less people can farm this because you can't really farm this because it costs you $96 every time you want to make this, you know. So I think the airdrop might be actually significant because there's not going to be many, many farmers. And then going forward, the other thing that no one's talking about is this, um, this, uh, this because less people are going to get this, this might be a criteria for other airdrops going forward. 
Like they might collaborate debunk and say whoever got the debunk airdrop, like we saw with the arbitrum when people got the arbitrum airdrop, other people done airdrop for the people that were eligible for the ar arbitrum airdrop. And also, if you saw recently, Celestia and there was a leak of uh, zk sync I saw somewhere that uh, people that were early using Ethereum apps etc. They're eligible. So projects are going to slowly, slowly make it harder to farm and they're going to have criteria like this. So just bear that in mind. So Dbank, what I do daily is I just go in, check the feed out. Now that I've got my own um, username or ID, I'll, I'll be able to interact with it more. I think before I couldn't comment, I had to be a verified member. But now I can comment because I've got an ID. And so it makes you look active on the thing and you, you are being active. You're checking just like how you check social media. You can just check this for two minutes, interact with some of the posts. And obviously it's all on chain. So they'll know um, that you are interacted and you've been active. So yeah, that's really good. Then we have uh, SoQuest. This also has an app. I haven't done much so far. Um, let me know if there is something to do on a daily basis. But as far as I know, there's campaigns and you can fill them in. But I haven't really done too much, to be fair. Then you have Lens. So this is a big one. This is by the Arv team. And um, I so I use it here. And um, as you can see, they have a feed as well. And uh, if you don't have a handle, if you have an ENS, it's quite easy to get. I think you just DM them. They, they gave it out. I, I got it a while ago because I had an ENS and I DM'd them and they gave it to me on handle. And uh, I think this airdrop is going to be big. It's got huge backers. It's, it's, it's uh, by the Arv team. So naturally, they've got a lot of credibility and they're very reliable. And so, yeah, um, I just come here every day, interact with some of the posts. I, I tweet or post. And um, yeah, so um, you've got um, people posting different stuff. It's just another social media, but it's by the Arv team. So it's, it's very legitimate. And they've actually got a mobile app called Butterfly which you can use as well, but I just use it on the desktop, so one less app to on, on my phone, right? But yeah, um, so that's uh, Lens. Next, you have uh, Warpcast. So Warpcast, I, I forgot the gentleman's name that's made it. He's quite uh, like famous on uh, crypto Twitter and stuff. But long story short, this is another, yeah, this is his name, uh, Dan Ro 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 Romero, sorry. So he's, it's his platform. And uh, interesting about this one is another social media, decentralized social media, etc. But one thing about interesting about this one, I see uh, Vitalik post here quite often. I think he posts here more than Twitter. So that's an uh, interesting fact. And the same thing with here. You can like, interact, retweet it, uh, retweet or whatever you want to call it, re, re uh, yeah, uh, the post. And so uh, this will add to, they do have something called warp, some sort of token or something. I don't really know what's going on with this one too much, to be fair with you guys. But either way, the project, uh, the, this is another legit decentralized social media and um I would um I would um sign up and use this. Um, they've got some quality people uh, posting here as well. Next up, you have uh, Gil. So these are the projects that I've been a part of and I follow. And if I see um there's there's tasks you can do on this one as well. And so you know if I see a task that I like, like this X one, I might actually do it. You know when I'm when I'm free, I'll just sort of go in here and do it. There's nothing to do on a daily basis like checking in, but um yeah, you get like points and stuff and different things for a completely different task, just like layer three. Next up, you have Drip. So this is a project that I mentioned in my Phantom video, if you saw that. So they give you free NFTs. Um, you just have to do a few things to like sign up. It's in my video. And um, the other thing is interesting thing is you can go in here every day and there's like a uh, little man. It's like a game. You click on the ch uh, treasure chest and he walks up to it and then you get like a rare or a legendary uh, drop. And then you can convert the rare into a legendary. So a few times I got rare. And I think one time I got legendary, but I don't know too much about this platform, but I just do this every day because it's like, like I said, it takes one second. And next up, you have frames. So I've done a video on this. This is the NFT specific layer two on Ethereum. Uh, or I believe they're using optimism technology. I'm not too sure. You can watch the video, but they, they have some tasks to do. So um, what I do, I just have a bookmark. If they have a new task, which they do have now, I'm going to do it. And then this will make it look, uh, this will prove that you were early support of the project and hence if there's any rewards aka airdrop they will give you this so that's it guys um if if you guys have anything that you do daily basis any of these type of tasks you do on a daily basis let me know these are mine these are literally what i do almost every day it takes like i said five minutes because i'm explaining it took longer but um it's it's, it's very fast um literally five ten minutes max if i start doing the task and i start engaging with all the posts and you know taking my time it will take a bit longer 10 15 minutes but this i believe these tasks will supercharge your your um your on-chain activity your every, everything your wallet's going to look much better because uh, eventually that's the goal that's how you end up getting more rewards by being active in these projects and doing these daily tasks and collecting these force uh, tokens these testnet tokens because that makes your wallet looks uh, more and more legit hey guys hope you got some value from this video and um, i'll see you in the next one